Hey guys, this is Dirty Rock Rims K here, back with another video, and today, the review of Extreme Rules, a uh, pay-per-view on last night. There's a couple matches that were, uh, SmackDown quality matches, and then there were a couple matches that were far beyond, um, the Stream Rules name, should have been like a SummerSlam match, or a, you know, one of the main four pay-per-views. To start things off, on um, the pre-show, you had Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler. Wasn't anything extreme about that match other than the low blow. It kind of set up a big fail to start off Extreme Rules. Wasn't there anything great about that. Uh, to start off Extreme Rules, you have the Usos versus Luke, uh, Doc Gallows and uh, Carl Anderson. I keep saying Luke Gallows. I don't know if it's Luke Gallows or Doc Gallows. I gotta pay attention on these times. But um, they faced an Uso, uh, Usos in a phenomenal Tornado Tag Team match. I wish they would have more Tornado Tag Team matches. I mean, if anyone plays video games, y'all know that's the only form of match anyone ever plays. It was a really good match. They kind of had you on your feet of who's going to win the whole time. Uh, ended up having uh, the club win, which I thought was a really good setup to the end of the show, especially in the main event. Then you had, uh, I think, forget about the New Day versus the Von Villains. That was, it was a boring match. It was, there was nothing special about it. Nothing really stood out to me. It was just kind of Von Villains are going to lose, so let's just get it over with. Oh, you also had a fatal four-way for the IC belt. That was the stealer of the show. It wasn't even an Extreme Rules match, but they stole the show. Just the quality of Kevin Owens, Zami Zayn, Cesaro, and Miz. I wasn't very happy Miz won, but the match made it okay that Miz won. I mean, I really wanted to see Sammy or Cesaro walk out with the title. Um, a little fun fact about Extreme Rules, Miz broke the record and is the only person to retain the IC title at an Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Uh, then we had Kaliso versus Rusev. Horrible, horrible match. Uh, you can tell Kaliso was really badly injured about halfway through the match and Rusev just didn't know what to do. So Rusev being Rusev just decided to keep attacking him and it was the way they ended the match. It should have just been by pinfall. You, you could tell Kaliso was injured. And Russo just decided to make it even worse. Uh, unfortunately, Russo is the new U.S. Uh, champion. Hopefully, John Cena will take it from him. Uh, Raw next week. I'm really hoping for that. And then we had uh, three more matches of the show. We had uh, Charlotte versus Natalia. Really horrible match. Um, only because they had it so no one can interfere. Yet, someone interferes again. Like, if there's a Charlotte match, I want to fast forward through now because someone always interferes and makes her win the belt. She's making the Divas division the biggest joke in world history right now. And so about the Divas revolution, we'll take the belt off Charlotte and we'll actually have a revolution. That's how I feel because I'm sick of Charlotte being champion. Then we had uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho. Asylum match. The most hardcore match on the show. It, it was phenomenal. There are thumbtacks being used, kendo sticks, a mop. It was, they used everything they could, and they put on an incredible match. This is a match you gotta go back and watch. Uh, it did went a little long, but it was worth it just because they kept you entertained the whole entire time. Main event, Roman versus AJ Styles. Um, this match, Roman dominated 90% of this match. I mean, you, I didn't see that coming out of him. He threw every hardcore aspect that he could into AJ Styles. It was just like, wow, like, AJ can take all his punishment, come back, hit a couple moves, Roman would dominate him again, and it was kind of like you had a little hope for AJ, but you kind of realized five minutes and AJ was not going to win. Uh, overall, that was a phenomenal main event, and Seth Rollins returned, so he'll be at Raw tonight, and hopefully challenge Roman Reigns for the WWE uh, Championship. Overall, I'm going to give this a uh, four out of five stars, just because there was two matches that really didn't do anything for me. So yeah, that's a review. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, because always more to come.